Hey, this is Gail Beskid from BRG Real Estate. I am here with Flo, Florida, the Flamingo, and we're here as just a little uh, question and answer uh, video that we wanted to do that is aimed particularly at sellers to answer any questions that sellers might have concerning uh, getting their house on the market. As you probably know, there is, we're at historic lows as far as the number of homes that are on the market right now, so it's a great time to put your house on the market. There's a very high demand, uh, very low inventory, so if you have had any thoughts at all of uh, selling your house, moving on, moving up, uh, getting to something a little bit more manageable or maybe new construction, it's a great time to do it. So I'm gonna go through this quickly because nobody wants to sit around and listen to a long-term video. So I'm gonna go through it kind of quickly, but as always, I'm available and uh, I answer my phone seven days a week and uh, so I can answer whatever questions you have. So first thing is uh, we get together, we discuss what your goals are, um, timing-wise, whether or not you are, you're in a situation where you'd like to um, You've already decided where you want to go to or if you want to if you've got some time if you have some time it's always good to get a pre-inspection done on the house uh, the buyers will always do an inspection and when they do so chances are they're going to come up with something if somebody did an inspection on my house I'm sure there would be quite a few things on that list so I always suggest getting an inspection done ahead of time I've got a nice gentleman that does it for us and um, uh, we can get that taken care of prior to so there's no surprises when you go into contract so um, uh, so we get together, we discuss uh, what your goals are, uh, get the contract signed, we order a sign up on the property to let your neighbors know that you're moving um, and l let them uh, start talking to their friends and relatives because they probably live there because they, they like that neighborhood. So there's a chance that there's, they've got a friend or a relative who may want to live in that neighborhood too. So get the sign up right away, put an electronic lockbox on your door. Now, the electronic lockbox is set up so that only real estate agents are actually able to access. So in order for us to get into it, our key to access that lockbox is on our, um, our mobile phone. And when we put our code in, it shoots a beam into, you can see my technical talk, shoots a beam into the um, electronic box that's on your door. It lets, us, lets the box know that we have a license, that we are, we are uh, allowed to have access, and it'll open up the box and give us keys. Um, so once we have all that um, set up, um, we've also called a photographer. I have two fantastic photographers. Um, if you want to look at any of my previous listings, you'll see the pictures, and the pictures are amazing. Um, I've actually had a, a client of mine say to me as we're standing in his house, I said, "Here's your pictures." He said, "That's that's my house." Oh. So the pictures just are amazing. So I'm very very thrilled with our photographer. We made good decisions. So. Um, uh, we uh, put it online. We've also got multitudes of other places. We've got Listing Book. We've got um, a couple other websites that we put them on that are a little bit more specific to people who are doing searches online so that they are able to see them. Of course, Zillow is a big one, which automatically um, picks up all the information from the MLS, so it goes on there too. So we optimize all of those websites, Zillow, Realtor.com, all of those. And by optimizing, I mean that we have additional um, uh, memberships with those uh, websites so it allows us to put in videos that not everybody can do it allows us to put additional photos in that not everybody can do and it gives your home more exposure so you're higher to the top when somebody goes into search or you have more photos than somebody else does or you've got videos that other people might not have because of the uh, relationship that we have with those advertising companies so um, I we uh, my goal because I just absolutely love doing open houses and I think that introducing the home to uh, the potential buyers via an open house is a really really good way of doing it we like to make it an event we like to have music we like to have food we like to have invite all the neighbors we like to bring a, a group of people in so that it is a big event it's an introduction of your home to the market to let people know that it's available and um, it does really well as far as introducing the home and also getting multiple offers and um, and getting your home noticed by uh, potential buyers that are out there so um, when we get offers and, and frequently we get multiple offers we're always very fair about that now again it's up to the seller to decide if you want to choose an offer a specific one whether because it's cash and that's that is that's always a good thing or if you want to go into a multiple offer situation where we ask the uh, potential buyers to give us their highest and best and that way we uh, you can choose from those buyers as well so that happens frequently and um, we take care of all that for you so it's always an exciting time when that happens 
So uh, the contract, once we go into contract, goes to the title company. Uh, we use Mason Title, and Mason Title's got a fantastic reputation, and I've um, uh, been working with them for a very, very, very long time, and they take really good care of my clients. So big shout out to Mason Title. So um, uh, we go under contract, buyer's financing goes through that. The first step in that is they deposit their escrow deposit, which is a promise uh, to follow through with the contract. Now, uh, the as-is contracts allow buyers um, whatever number of negotiated days, some are usually between seven and 15 days to do the inspection. And in most cases, that allows them time to do their due diligence and also allows them to walk away should there be any problems, which is why we do the inspection ahead of time. That way we don't have any surprises after you go into contract. So uh, the uh, 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 escrow deposit goes to the title company. The inspections are scheduled. Once the inspections are accepted by both proper parties, then uh, this, the uh, appraisal is ordered by the buyer's lender. Once that happens, then a few days after that we close. So there's a lot of moving parts to go in, which is why you hire a good real estate agent to take care of those. And uh, good real estate agents, I always said, will know what the problems are and, um, and, and know ahead of time what could potentially happen, but a great real estate agent knows how to solve those problems before they even show up. So. That's why you hire a good, uh, or great real estate agent because those of us who have been in the business long enough know how to head those problems off and to make sure that they don't cause problems for you in the future. So eventually, usually within 30 days or so, we close. Um, you hand over the keys and um, you are free and clear. The money goes into your account almost always the same day. And uh, my job is to make that process nice and easy. We always say seamless, you know, stress-free, however you want to call it, but um, our job is to market your property so that it is uh, shown at its best advantage and that we get the most amount of money for you. If you have any questions, give me a call, 813-833-9136 or www.galesalesnewtampa. Take care.